Alright, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new. Because in today's video we are going to be doing our third red flag video. And we're going to be doing the skill trigger flag in this video. This is probably the trickiest or the hardest flag to get correct on your cruise. Uh, because not many crews use this and a lot of people probably don't actually know what skill trigger actually does in the game. So we're going to be going over what the skill trigger flag actually does for your crews in this game. Who are the best characters that you should probably run the skill trigger flag on. Uh, because there aren't actually too many. Uh, there are a couple of notable characters that a lot of people will be very interested in this video because... I will be revealing one of the best builds for one of the best characters in the game in this video. Um, so let's head over to the flag section and let's break it down for you guys. Alright, so jumping into the pirate flag section. Now what does the skill trigger flag actually do? As you can see I have a skill trigger flag on my Kaido dragon form. Now the skill trigger flag, what it does is it increases the chance or probability of your crews using their basic ability or their basic skill. So increases it by 30% for each flag. Uh, all the flags stack so you can have up to 90% extra skill trigger chance. Now why do you want to run this flag on certain crews? Uh, because some of the crews in this game actually have really really good basic abilities. Some crews can stack up a lot of stats um, so Obviously, the skill trigger flag is for the crews that have really, really good basic abilities. That's about it. That's all it's used for. Uh, so if you aren't a very knowledgeable person about the game, or you don't read your character's abilities, uh, this will probably be a very tricky flag for you guys, as I said at the start of the video. Uh, so let's jump over to my list of the characters that I feel you should run the skill trigger flag on. Alright, so jumping into a skill trigger flag list. Obviously, skill trigger flag, good for basic skills. So, the, the characters that have really good basic skills. Now, the flags that you're mainly going to be using as the secondary stats for this one is either block rate slash block bonus or damage reduction. So, now let's go over the block rate block bonus characters. I feel you can run the skill trigger flag on. A lot of people run the skill trigger flag on category. Uh, because his basic ability hits a line of enemies or a row of enemies, reduces 80% rage recovery speed, which is kind of insane. Uh, so he has an amazing basic ability. Uh, Yamato, you can run it on as well. Uh, some, if you don't want to run speed, you can run skill trigger on them. Kind of Dragon Form is actually really good with block bonus skill trigger flags. Because every time he uses his basic ability, he increases his block rate by 50% permanently and it stacks infinitely as well as healing the crew as well and gaining some rage back so he's a really good one uh, to use block bonus on i wouldn't use block rate on him because he's already stacking up enough block rate from that basic ability um, so block bonus is very good on him as well if you don't want to run the speed uh, build for Kata dragon form now for the damage reduction characters i have added the combo card characters as you can see and the three top admirals actually have a really, really good basic skill. So damage reduction for them is actually really good with skill trigger flags. Uh, because they already deal enough damage. Uh, same as Luffy Taro. Uh, Luffy Taro, if you don't have potential 6, uh, damage reduction skill trigger flags are actually really good. If you have potential 6, it's not as great. I highly recommend just going to slaughter damage reduction build because he's ulting every single turn you're getting 1k rage back from that potential 6 passive from an ultimate and you're just ulting every turn so if you have potential 6 Luffy Taro uh, but skill trigger flags damage reduction are really good because his basic ability is absolutely amazing and uh, then you can run Frankie and Chopper as well uh, Chopper, you could run damage bonus skill trigger flags if you wanted to. Uh, Frankie Chopper, absolutely amazing uh, basic abilities, uh, basic skills. If you want to go ahead and look at their basic skills as to why they're on the list. 
uh, go ahead and do that but their basic skills are absolutely amazing you can run skill trigger flags on both these characters or you can run speed as we said in our speed flag videos it's completely up to you guys all right now let's go over the number one character that you're all probably waiting for me to reveal my build for and that is actually a rochi a rochi is absolutely insane with skill trigger flags this character its basic ability is quite nuts. Full skill trigger damage reduction flags. He'll stack up so much stats from his basic ability. He'll legitimately be unkillable. As I said in a few of my previous videos. He can legitimately 1v6 timeout teams. If you run this build. Now I'm not going to tell you guys the full build. Like the adventure souls I run. Or... The awakened rolls on the adventure souls or the dials I run. Um, you guys can figure that out yourselves. Uh, but I will give you the flags. I do run skill trigger damage reduction flags because his basic ability is absolutely insane. So these are the characters I feel that you should run skill trigger flags on, or you can run skill trigger flags on. Uh, Yamato, Kaido Dragon Form, General Frankie, and Chopper can all be run on speed builds as well. It's completely up to you guys, but the other four. Um, besides potential 6 Luffy Taro, obviously, you should definitely run these three on skill trigger flags. So that's going to be our list there. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the rundown of all the characters that I feel you should run skill trigger flags on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next video.